One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. My old friend, it's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, Here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Ah. <sighs> A stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. 
We should start there. How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and... What? what? How did you get in here? You're Dowd, right? What are you doing here? Who hired you? I'm here for information. About the Delilah. Who hired you? Are you here from the Regent? Maybe he's here to put you in your special chair, Rothwild. Shut up! Kill him! And I'll tell you all about Delilah, and pay you as well. Quiet! She's giving you very bad Kill him, Dowd! to enjoy this. What do you want to know that's worth crossing a man like me? I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Choke on your own spit. That's the kind of thing I pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. <laughs> you know your work, I'll give you that. We can talk this out. I businessman. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? And it wasn't me. The previous owner named it after some sweetheart as a painting. Piss off! Yeah! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps! All right! He told me the story. Delilah was a woman he knew. Grew up working in Dunwall Tower. Got kicked out and became a painter. And funny airs, like proud. She caught his eye, but it was worse than that. He couldn't think of anything else, just her. She wormed into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her and a lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. Came to me afraid. Man, like that, afraid. He wanted to dump the ship, and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. And to change the name, we should have done it. I hope that was satisfying. Here's the room key, when you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing him in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive, of course. Why go through all the trouble, when a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing? Well, if I get another chance at this guy, he's fish bait. Someone's sneaking around. Security services and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. We're not done yet, assassin. 
What about the shrines? Tell me about the... What was that? Now it's not a Thank you. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. This is a public warning. Corvo Atana, the assassin and one-time royal prisoner, has escaped from confinement and is at large within the city. Any sight <clears throat> must be reported to the city one at once. I'm still trying to figure out why you let the Empress's bodyguard go. And now Rothwild's snug in a box. What's got into you? Barrister Timch lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsch paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece. And she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. I was gentle. He'll snore for an hour. Talia should be waiting in Trevor's Close. It's an alley just past the Wall of Light. You'll know it by three whitewashed skulls. at you, the master assassin. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so he won't tell you anything. I require only two things. Get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And I'll pay you cold hard coin for your trouble. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. No. Young people. Of course they think they can judge us. She's sensitive, sir. Your uncle is dead. This is his will as agreed. Uncle's dead. I've killed now, haven't I? My, how odd that feels. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, 
an artist. Beneath my family's class for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dal. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. So much for the good barrister. He had it coming, though. Men like him can never trust anyone. His own niece turned on him. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, the city was a fast disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I'd held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Doubt we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. This nonsense. Focus on the task at hand. Uh, but sir, we don't have time for you. <laughs> Give the word, sir. What's our next move? Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. <laughs> Overseer who led the attack against us is dead. It seems the Overseers are marching into the flooded district, planning a massive assault against us. This Overseer Hume went against orders and attacked early. Our men, the ones you freed, were able to rout the remaining zealots. This place belongs to us again. How did the cursed Overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. But I can't go through with it. Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. He deserves better. I was an idiot to listen to you. 
So that's your choice then, Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore Witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment and take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak, like I thought. I'm only sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought, between the three of us, we'd have you dead to rights. We can blame the Zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me, or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone-cold hearts and walk in your skin. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Ellie. I give you your life. When Billy Lurk was eight, she wanted to be the captain of a ship. From the moment she met you, all she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you, learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while. Gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire will still know your story. Dowd, killer of an empress. Dowd, who spared his betrayer's life.